On this Veterans Day, take a second to think about this figure. Some four to 700 veterans in our area are homeless. Mike Shue reports a group that helps vets with addictions is now asking for help. A place that used to dispatch men to fight fires is now home to men trying to extinguish their demons. It took James Hardy 25 years to nearly kill himself. My problem was I was um, addicted to crack, heroin, weed. And two years living here to change it. Now his name is on the first office near the front door. And the whole thing is you, you got to retrain your brain again. And it takes two years to do that. 91 veterans live here, 46 nearby. All are homeless. If someone's been homeless for a long period, 16 years, 17 years, it's really unrealistic to think that they can get back on their feet in 90 days. That's why we offer a, a program that's designed for up to two years. But those two years are expensive. Food, housing, treatment, it adds up to two million a year. 500,000 has to come from foundations and donations. Which brings us to Chef Russell, and his secret. And I'm going to go with a little chili pad. It's what he's making that will help keep the Baltimore station afloat. He's a contestant in a chili cook-off. In a way, it doesn't matter whether you win or anybody. I mean, No, it's all for the program. I mean, it's, it's for the program. At their big fundraiser tomorrow at the Game Day Warehouse, it's their chili cook-off, and they hope to raise $60,000. If we weren't around, there would be 355 men on the streets of Baltimore without a structure, without the support and connection to care. A connection that brought James back among the living. <sighs> I ain't gonna say dead, but I know I'd probably be still in addiction because I didn't know how to get out. Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness News. Baltimore Station is now trying to help veterans with long-term mental problems by working to become a licensed mental health care provider. They're doing good works. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up.